Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Investing with a Difference. So today we are going to talk about how to create an account for yourself. So there are many reasons you want to create an account. So for example, um, uh, like right now there is a 12 characters you got assigned, the account name. Uh, that will be the used for any transaction to your account. And uh, you have to give it to others to send EOS or any login into any EOS services. And uh, currently the 12 character name is not easy to remember and you can always create an easy to read name. Um, so any account which starts with the 12 characters which is um, uh, 12 n uh, alphabet or numbers can be used right now uh, without any bidding. Now, of course if you like to use less than 12 characters then there is a bidding process it is still releasing only one name per day. Uh, but I think uh, um, for most of you, you will like to create something with your name or your business or whatever you want to use it for. Um, so what you can do is um, you can go to EOS Toolkit and you can you say attach an account and you connect an account and uh, you will be able to uh, choose uh, for using Scatter which account you want to use. And uh, once you do that, so let's uh, for example, uh, we do uh, we select this identity and we say accept and now you can go to create account and uh, it will automatically use the owner of uh, the account which is uh, you have chosen as the uh, current uh, account which you are using. Now the reason is uh, somebody has to pay the RAM so every account needs uh, some RAM. Uh, to create your account on the blockchain. So the blockchain stores data about you, how many tokens you own and so on. The recommended bytes are 8192 which is 8 kilobyte and uh, you, some people have created with let's say 6 kilobyte or um, uh, or so because the RAM right now is costing money. So if you know currently the RAM price is continuously going up, we have been talking about it, it's al already 0.74 EOS per uh, kilobyte. And uh, so for using 8 kilobytes, you're almost using, uh, uh, mm, I would say around 6 EOS, which is almost uh, 50 to 60 dollars. Now this is uh, huge, but I think uh, remember that this account you will be using all your life whenever, as long as you use EOS apps. Now what you need to do is you need to write your new account name, which has to be 12 characters. And uh, the owner can active public key. This can be totally independent key. So you can generate a key offline either using scatter or using the other tools like uh, which we had uh, or if you have already created some extra keys. Uh, remember you have to only enter uh, public key not private key in both owner and active and you can have a different active key. Uh, if you want to use that uh, key later on for actual actions versus uh, the owner key. So there are multiple ways this can work but I think uh, for most of you you will create a new key pair and uh, just uh, put a public key here and uh, then you say create. It's as simple as that. If you are uh, you can click transfer what does this mean is that uh, if you keep it off then uh, all the rights are uh, remaining with the owner. So what you should ideally do is you should uh, select this transfer as on so that uh, the new account gets access to all the new rights. So, th so this is very important when you are creating an account if you, this is being created for totally independent purposes. So many reasons why people will create a new account is uh, not just uh, because you want to change your name but also uh, if you own a lot of EOS and you don't want people to know it because as soon as you start using your owner name anybody can search you and know that how many EOS you own. That is another reason you want to create an, another account which is not uh, directly linked to this owner. The, uh, but remember that people can still search you when you create this account. Uh, they will know that who created it. So in, it is not necessary that you create your own account. But if you are only creating one account people will imagine that uh, you, uh, they can al always link it to you. So to avoid that uh, we are actually offering this service now that we can help create accounts for you. Uh, so that you don't have any linkage to your current account and if you want to create another account which you want to use uh, in public you don't want to share your token information how much you own so please feel free to send us a message uh, of course uh, we will be charging the money for the RAM 
uh, and uh, based on uh, how the prices are going right now so once uh, you send that and uh, we will try to buy some ram uh, uh, and let you know after we have bought the ram we will let you know the price it will take uh, to create your account uh, again this is something we are doing for no profit no loss basis we are trying to help people because many of us ha people have asked uh, if we can create account for them um, because some people are not very comfortable there are multiple reasons one is that uh, they are not even enabling scatter yet or some people are not comfortable uh, doing this process uh, with this uh, toolkit so either way i think if you want to do it yourself we still recommend you learn this it's very simple you log in with scatter and you create your own account make sure you create a new public and uh, owner and uh, active keys uh, this will make sure that your accounts are totally independent and uh, you can use it for uh, any reasons you need uh, but if you don't want to link those two accounts because uh, there will anybody can search the blockchain who is who created it uh, then you can uh, take help from some third parties and that's what we are uh, recommending so once again uh, thanks for joining in this video i hope uh, people understand now um, the account creation process uh, do try to think about how you are going to use your eos remember that this account name for example this 12 characters uh, will be used for any operation on eos blockchain there is no more you don't have to share your public or private keys with this you can send tokens with this only when you need to use your wallet to withdraw or to send to somebody you will be using your uh, private keys and one more thing i can tell you is if you want to safely create new private keys use the scatter extension and uh, you go to scatter and uh, you can actually create offline so if you disconnect from the internet uh, go to scatter and ask scatter to generate a new key pair copy it uh, wherever you want to and then you can come here uh, make sure you delete all the keys after copying them and then you can enter it here while creating the account that makes it very safe so that is another thing we can uh, recommend if you are worried about creating a new key pair and you are not uh, sure that your computer is safe. So that is something which um, is another tip if you are creating a new account. So thanks for joining. I hope this was useful. Bye for now and uh, do share the videos and like them if you think our content is helping you and uh, subscribe to our channel if you are not a subscriber already. Bye for now.